Jake, in terms of attention to detail and, and finalizing preparations with the last two plus weeks mm -hmm. in the season to go, where, where is a group within the D zone do you like to see where you guys are at? And can you look in the last two games yeah. and, and be happy with those results? I think the last two games have, uh, have been better for us in the D zone, um, getting um, quicker to pucks, closing quicker, um, you know, making uh, the, the exits a little, a little cleaner and um, spending less time in the D zone and uh, I think we've done a better job boxing out, giving uh, Freddie and Sparks uh, uh, room to see the puck coming in, uh, shots from the point uh, coming in. So uh, we look to build off what we've done the last two games in the D zone and continue going with it. How do you feel like the chemistry is coming along with, with you and Nikita? It's been good. Um, you know, he's a simple, hard player. Uh, kind of know what you're going to get. And... Um, that that's okay with me. Um, you know he's uh, he's a really he's really good on his skates and uh, he's got a great stick. And he plays hard. He's got a little nastiness to him. Um, so it's been good, and we, we look to continue building it. Yeah. What stands out to you about the Matthews line? What Andreas, William, and him are doing here? Before? Yeah. Um, in Buffalo, it was uh, even when I was on the ice watching uh, the line go. I was like, um, I knew it was, they were going to have a good night early on in the game. You could just tell they were buzzing. Uh, Puck uh, was following them around the ice, uh, creating chances. Um, so it's it's fun to be a part, and uh, you know, hopefully their chemistry and the work continues and uh, can carry it on to the playoffs. Yeah. Austin was saying that the way William transports the puck up the ice is yeah. really impressive and a big asset. What do you notice about how he's able to skate it up yeah. the ice? He says it's almost like he's a step ahead of the guys who are pursuing him. Yeah, he's. Um, he's very efficient in his skating, I think, and it's kind of elusive. Like it's like uh, you don't think he's going fast, but he is, and he's ahead of guys. Um, and he's um, uh, the way he distributes the puck is uh, you, he kind of it's a lot of fakes and stuff. Uh, he does you don't know where he's going to move it. He knows, um, so it's tough to defend. And when you create a little more space for Matts and, and Johnny, it's you know uh, opportunities are going to come. So it's good. Was that as well as you've seen Austin play? Yeah, it was, it was pretty impressive the other night. What do you see when you see that? Like, what's the difference between his good game and his dominant game? Uh, I, I, you know, it's, I'm still learning from um, only being here a little bit, but uh, uh, just I, I don't know what, what it was, but he was, uh, the puck was not leaving his stick. Um, I don't know if his hands were feeling it that night, or uh, but his work ethic and then, uh, when the puck is glued to a stick like that, it's tough to get it off him, and uh, it creates a lot of chances. Yeah. You for playoffs, considering you know the trade and that they brought you in here. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's um, you know the way things were going in LA, it wasn't looking like we we're going to make the playoffs. So um, I'm excited. Uh, play out. This is what you play for. Um, you play to make the playoffs. It's tough. It's a tough season, um, and to have a chance to be back and and with a good team, I'm excited. How important is it in your experience that a team is feeling good mm -hmm. and has momentum going into yeah. the playoffs? Yeah, it's, it, it's important. Um, it's, it's not easy just to flip the switch and, and you know, all of a sudden be ready for playoff hockey. So uh, every you know, practice and, and games, we're um, taking steps to, to be a better playoff hockey team.